kita na. So, good day, Dr. Craig, and good day to our panelists. So, before we proceed to our research proposal presentation, I would like to introduce first the researchers of this study. Melito B. Catailo Jr. And me, myself, Mia B. Morales, MS, Master of Science in Agriculture. So our study is entitled A Survey of Peak Sources in Dumaguete City, Abatoa, in Barangay Bahong Pandan. So our research proposal will tackle about the introduction of the study, statement of the problem, significance of the study, scope and limitation of the study, definition of terms, theoretical framework, conceptual framework, review of related literature, research methodology, research design, research instrument, research environment, research respondents, data gathering procedures, and statistical treatment. So chapter one, the problem and its scope. Production of the study. So pig production has been transformed over recent years from an interesting agrarian pursuit to a highly capitalized industry. The change has brought about a major awareness of the different indices of efficiency, what constitutes the most interesting of these indices depends on one's viewpoint. If one is interested in the biology of pig production, then biological efficiency and its constituent elements are important. Alternatively, the farmer who already has a major investment in buildings and stock has a major interest in the ratio of feed costs to returns and in the speed of true food. A third viewpoint is that of prospectively evaluating the options for new production units. So, so this research would also seek to investigate the forces of pig production or the live animals presented to slaughter in because there is a question whether these sources are coming from. So that's why this research proposal uh, has, has been uh, presented. So, statement of the problem. The study aims to investigate the sources of pig presented for slaughter in the Maguete City Abatwa that supplies the poor consumers in the city. So, specifically, the study seeks to answer the following questions. Number one, the socio economic profile of the suppliers of the Maguete City in terms of the following, gender, age, their marital status, their education, and income. So number two, what kind of business enterprise of the peak suppliers of the Maguete City in terms of the following, piggery farm racers or the conventional farm racers, the backyard racers, and the middlemen. So number three, what is the place of origin of pig supply? Number four, type of meat seller. Five, the number of head 
of pigs slaughtered per day at the Maguindi City Abatwa and years in business of the suppliers, whether middleman or a racer. So significance of the study. So this study is significant to suppliers, consumers, and future researchers. The consumers, the study will help them to know the importance and value of marketing as under suppliers, so as to enlighten and create awareness to the consumers and suppliers on the possible influence it has on them. So suppliers, the study is also significant to them in the sense that they will know the possible effects these big sources has on their business. So as to serve as guide to their business and to the, and the big sources. So future researchers, the study will enable the future researchers research of any universities so that they will be aware that apart from knowing the research benefits of the study, using the, the knowledge more than necessary will possibly help them. It will be relevant in assisting researchers in understanding the diversity of any research. It will provide also a relevant material for future researchers and other students undertaking similar research. The study will also help researchers with more information on the influence of the research topic. Scope and limitations of the study. Now the study focuses on peak suppliers in Barangay Bampandan in the Pagiti City, which are involved in supplying pigs in the market. The survey of this research is about to know the importance and effectiveness of supplying pigs in terms of pig sources. The target respondents are pig suppliers from the Mugeti City with a total respondents of 70. So definition of terms, slaughterhouse, also called abattoir, is a facility where animals are slaughtered. Most often provide food for humans. Slaughterhouses supply meat, which then becomes the responsibility of a packaging facility. But for now, uh, we don't, the, the Dumagiti City Abatwa, the Dumagiti City has no packaging facility yet. And another one is livestock is commonly defined as domesticated animals raised in an agricultural setting to produce labor and commodities such as meat, eggs, milk, fur, leather, and wool. Wool is from sheep. Animal-based foods, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy foods tend to be good sources of meat protein, while plant-based foods, fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds often lack one of the more essential acids, amino acid. The theoretical framework of the study. So for for production, contracts have been touted as a means of risk sharing and reducing risk. So according to Searing and Seals, 1989, Clivinstein et al. 1989, and Roy, 1970, Footrail, 1989. However, little work has been done in this area to examine the magnitude of risk sharing and risk reduction available through contracting. The framework used to examine risk has been partial budgeting with sensitivity analysis. This research has provided information on how individual factors can affect returns, but has not developed any risk profiles of contracting. Contracting is a growers, growing scheme of pig where uh, a certain feed company would, uh, would give a chance of a or a specific farmer to grow feed, to grow pigs uh, with all the expenses from the company. The, the role of the grower is that they, uh, they will provide the management from piglet to, to harvesting the marketable age that is contract 
or contracting or contract growing. So in the concept, so now, the current state of economic and financial analysis of for production contracts is thus based on simple budgeting methods with ad hoc risk assessment, given that the majority of producers who contract do so for reasons of reduced capital requirements, financial risk and price fix a framework is needed to identify the risk among contractual alternatives available and contractual risk relative to independent, independent ownership. So in conceptual framework, this explains what the sources of big presented for slaughtering the market city abattoir that supply the poor consumers in the city that are engaging with the aspects and its perspectives. The sources of big presented for slaughter in the in the Dumaguete Abatua that supplies the poor consumers has been widespread. That's why there are some factors that could affect to the sources of big slaughter of the Magete City Abatua. So that's a factor affecting sources of big slaughter abatua, the pigs raised per sow, the number of hogs slaughtered in their average weight, and the quantity of pork produced. The review of related literature, according to the, the Laos Agricultural Census of 1998 and 99, month 2000 reported that 95% reported that of the lives in the country was produced by small farmers, smallholder farmers, and 89% of all agricultural houses raised at least one type of livestock, whether it could be cattle, buffalo, pigs, goats, or poultry. Many households view livestock acquisition and improve livestock health as a means to reduce the burden of poverty, according to ADB 2002. So here in the Philippines, uh, majority of the research also is in the backyard sector compared to the conventional method of pig raising, which is the, the piggeries. So according to JITC 2011, a pig enterprise contrib contributes in many ways to improve the livelihood of poor and vulnerable small scale farmers. And the same author, a functioning, a functioning small scale pig sector in rural areas has been proven to be very beneficial for rural development. Pre-production brings fast returns to the farmer from relatively small investment and can therefore improve livelihoods within a relative short time frame. But it's very true because uh, the marketable age of a swine or pig is, is about three months old. Research methodology. So, our research methodology in the study is the researcher used a questionnaire-based survey method since the data can be quantified. This will be described and analyzed by a statistical method. So the basis behind using the method lies in the fact that the purpose of this study is to determine the pig sources in Dumaguete City Abatoa in Barangay Bahumpandan. So the questionnaire in is the main instrument for gathering this data. So our research design is the descriptive survey design was used in conducting the study. A survey is a research method used for collecting data from a predefined group of respondents to gain information and insights into various topics of interest. They can have multiple purposes and the researchers can conduct it in many ways depending on the methodology chosen and the study's goal. So in the year 2020, according to Question Pro survey software of 2021, the research is of extreme importance and hence 
it's, it is essential for us to understand the benefits of social, social research for a target population using the right survey tool. So our research instrument in this study will be the questionnaire administered will be the basic tool used for gathering data. So the questionnaire will include the kind of business enterprise of the pig suppliers of Dumaguete City, the place of origin of pig supply, the type of meat seller, and the number of pig heads slaughtered per day at Dumaguete City Abatua. So uh, our research environment, so the study will be conducted at the city Abatua at Barangay Bahumpandan, Dumaguete City. So the research respondents will be the targeted 70 respondents of the study and it will be the viajeros or the meat dealers and the meat vendors of swine. So the gathering data procedures will be used in this study will be collected in the following manner. The researchers will be sending a letter of request to the office of the city mayor and the head of office of the city Abatwa for the approval of data gathering. So prior to the data gathering procedures, informed consent will be provided by the researchers for an interview of the participants of the study. And our statistical treatment of the study, so the responses that will, will be made by the respondents describing their demographic profile of the respondents, the kind of business enterprise of the pig suppliers of Dumaguete City, place of origin of pig supply, the type of meat seller, and the number of heads pig slaughtered per day at the Dumaguete City Abatwa will be statistically analyzed using descriptive statistics such as simple percentage, percentage and weighted mean and one-way ANOVA or analysis of variance to compare the means of two or more independent groups in order to determine whether the, there is a statistical evidence that the associated population means are significantly different. So in appendix section, so it composed of the letter of permission, uh, used for gathering data from the abatwa informed consent for a for the participants that will be particip that would particip participate in our study and the survey questionnaires uh, our research instrument uh, to to gather data So that ends our research proposal.